Oh, wellness goes public. CEO explains business plan after $5 million placement. Silo Wellness, an Oregon-based psychedelics company. There we go again. We're getting the psychedelics a lot more now. Um, It's not just cannabis anymore. They're using that as medicine uh, for mental health stuff. Okay. Silo Wellness, an Oregon-based psychedelics company, announced the closing of its reversed takeover with Flyover Fly Overture Equity Incorporated, resulting in the listing of its stock of the Canadian Stock Exchange under the listing SILO starting Friday. The company recently closed a round of $5 million in financing, which will be used to support business operations and attract talent across the industry. CEO Douglas Gordon told Benzinga, that the company was founded on principles of making medicinal psychedelics available to as wide of an audience as possible through the legal means available today. Well, let's see, he goes on to say, there are a lot of folks struggling out there, and we have access to this wonderful plant medicine that can make a material difference in their lives. And so the commercialization of our business is the first and foremost to be able to facilitate getting that medicine to as many people as can get it. And that's what's going public has done for us. It has given us access to the capital that we can utilize to further further that mission, said Gordon. Wow, they've got a lot of stuff going on here. Um... Silo. It doesn't look. Um, we'll have to check on that. Keep that on on our little list and see what that ticker is going to be. Looks like Bluma Wellness provides end of month operations update and financial highlights for February 2021. Uh, if you're interested, the information's out there now. Um, not really going to go through it. It's a lot of financial stuff. Uh, just to I don't want to put anybody to bed right now. Green Hygienics Holdings Incorporated closes on acquisition of Primordia Assets. Never heard of this one before. Green Hygienics Holdings Incorporated. This comes to us from Globe Newswire. It came out yesterday about 8.30 in the morning. Green Hygienics Holdings Incorporated. OTCQB. Symbol is G-R-Y-N. Announces today that after months of negotiation and diligence, it has closed the acquisition of certain assets of Primordia, a seed-to-soil single-origin hemp supply company. You can find Primordia online at www.primordia.eco. Now, looks like they're going to make this acquisition with a combination of cash and future rights and entitlements. Primordia will continue with its remaining operations under a different name, but will not compete with the green hygienics in this sector. The assets include inventory, equipment, brand, and trademarks. An e-commerce site, a customer base, as well as relationships that will provide a significant capacity for large-scale cultivation of over 10,000 acres of legacy farmland. Well, that is uh, some exciting news right there. Green Hygienics. G-R-Y-N. Something to look at. Something to keep an eye on. Uh, Don't know where they're at, where they're trading-wise. Give me just a second, and I can get that information for us real quick. Goes on to say that we are at the forefront of a growing, dynamic news sector within the biotech industry. The demand side continues to grow rapidly, while on the supply side, the learning curve is steep and opportunities for valued acquisitions will arise, said Green Hygienic CEO Ron Loden. Our first e-commerce site is for the boutique brand Soul Valley Ranch, and the Primordia acquisition will target farm direct bulk wholesale buyers. When you consider the ROI created through sales of finished product, it makes sense to develop or acquire a portfolio of e-commerce sites that target specific market market segments. 
The acquisition will generate immediate cash flow for green hygienics. All right, I agree. I think that's a good idea. So let's check on that ticker symbol, G-R-Y-N. There it is. Trading for about $1.15. Looks like it finished up yesterday. Well, put on uh, 10% yesterday. Put on $0.11. Cents. Uh, could be with some of that news. Looks like the 52-week range is $0.30 cents low. $1.49 is the high on that. All right. Well, that's... Uh, I'm going to throw that on my watch list right now. Yes, and that is on the OTCQB, G-R-Y-N, Green Hygienics Holdings. Have to keep an eye on that one. Next up, MYM Nutraceuticals Incorporated, Highland Grow, expands distribution into Nunavut. Okay. This comes out of Vancouver, British Columbia. The News File Corp came out yesterday, March 5th, 2021. MYM Nutraceuticals Incorporated on the CSE. You can find it at MYM on the OTCQB. You can find it at MYMMF. MYMMF. There we go. Now, they're pleased to announce its wholly owned subsidiary and Health Canada licensed cannabis producer Highland Grow Incorporated has received authorization from the government of Nunavut. Oh, so Nunavut's a government. I'm kind of wondering about that in the headlines, honestly. Um, to supply Highland Grow cannabis products through Nunavut. Well, I tell you what, if you live in Nunavut, uh, beard done pretty good. You've got, you got your own supplier now. We are thrilled at the opportunity to work with the government of Nunavut and share Highland Grow and Coastal Connection branded cannabis products for the benefit of Nunavut and its people, said Michael Weiner, CEO of MYM. Nunavut marks our 12th province territory and demonstrates our continued commitment to bring high quality cannabis consumers to cannabis to consumers across cannabis, Canada. <laughs> Canada, cannabis. Oh my goodness. It's hard to keep all that straight. With the addition of Nunavut and sole exception of Quebec, MYM nears another key milestone, national distribution. Oh, MYM, Nutraceuticals. Well, that's a pretty interesting story, i got to tell you. Um, let's see. Uh, anything else in here that we need to talk about? Uh, well, just give you a little... Uh, information about MYM Nutraceuticals, so you know what exactly what they do, or what they say they do. Uh, MYM is a Canadian cultivator, processor, and distributor of premium cannabis via its two wholly owned subsidiaries, subsidiaries, Sublime, Sublime Culture Incorporated in Laval, Quebec, and Highland Grow Incorporated. In Antigonish, uh, I'm going to say NS. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that abbreviation is. Um, MYM shares trade in Canada, Germany, and the United States under the following symbols. CSE would be the MYM ticker. OTCQB would be the MYM MMF ticker. FSE is 0MY. DEU exchange is O or zero MY. The I guess MUN exchange is zero MY. The STU is zero MY. So that's where you can find a MYN. Looks like they're getting cannabis to all the Canadians that want it, especially the folks in Nunavut. I learned a new thing today. Nunavut is actually a country or province, or however you guys do it up there in Canada. Moving on, Predict Medics Incorporated secures strategic financing to catalyze operations. Predict Medics Incorporated, Canadian Stock Exchange, they go under PMED on the OTCQB. It is PMEDF. They are pleased to provide a corporate update on its recent activities. The company is proud to announce that it has closed a non-brokered private placement for gross proceeds of $1,090,085 in a strategic financing round to catalyze the company's operations as it scales its businesses. 
The total of 3,114,529,000 units were issued at a price of 35 cents each. Each unit is comprised of one common share of the company and one warrant, with each warrant exercisable into a common share at the exercisable price of 50 cents per share for a period of two years. All right, so it looks like uh, Premedics is uh, you know generating some capital there, trying to do some more uh, updates to their business. A little bit about pre, pre Predict Medics here. Predict Medics Incorporated is an artificial intelligence AI company developing disruptive tools for impairment testing and healthcare. It is intended that the company's cannabis and alcohol impairment detection tools will be used across various workplaces and by law enforcement agents. Its technology uses artificial intelligence to identify both cannabis and alcohol impairment by utilizing multiple features along with numerous different data points. Testing does not require any bodily fluids or human intervention thereby helping to remove human error and the potential for discrimination and prejudice. Okay, well, that's kind of freaky. Uh, So AI is going to be able to scan you and tell me if I'm high or not, or if I'm drunk or not. goes on to talk about other things. It says the company is also developing an AI-based screening for the healthcare industry. The recent advent of COVID-19 pandemic has placed unprecedented stress on the global economy and highlights the need for tools to help screen mass populations for infectious diseases with the hope of preventing pandemics in the future. In turn, Predict Medics Incorporated has expanded its proprietary AI technology to screen for infectious disease symptoms. Oh, well, that'll be interesting to see what happens with that. All right. Metafarm Labs closes previously announced bought deal equity financing. Okay. On the OTCQX, you can find that at MEDIF. On the TSX, it is LABS. On the FSE, it is MLZ. This comes to us from Globe Newswire yesterday about 8.56 a.m. Metafarm Labs Corp., a global leader in specialized research-driven pharmaceutical quality cannabis extraction, distillation, and derivative products, is pleased to announce the closing of its previously announced bought deal, offering of units of the company for a total gross proceeds of 33350000 The company sold 57,500,000 units at a price of $0.58 per unit, including 7,500,000 units sold sold pursuant to exercise of the underwriter's over-allotment option in full at closing. The offering was led by Cantor Fitzgerald and Canada Corporation. A little something here about Metafarm Labs. Founded in 2015, Metafarm Labs specializes in the production of purified pharmaceutical quality cannabis oil and concentrates, advanced derivative products utilizing the good manufacturing processes certified facility with ISO standard built clean rooms. Metafarm Labs has invested in a expert research driven team, state of the art technology, downstream purification methodologies and purpose-built facilities with five primary extraction lines for delivery of pure, trusted, and precision-dosed cannabis products to its customers. Through its wholesale and white-label platforms, they formulate, consumer test, process, package, and distribute cannabis extracts extracts, and advanced cannabinoid-based products to domestic and international markets. As a global leader, Many Farms Labs has completed commercial exports to Australia and has fully commercialized its wholesale, wholly owned Australian extraction facility. 
Metaform Labs Australia was established in 2007.